Hey guys, we've got the Belphegor trial on global finally. Um, so we're going to be going in here and doing a hard mode all mission clear, 15 turns or less, party of 5 or less, no items. Uh, now for this one, I'm going to be using Olivera. And the gear I'm going to be using and all that is pretty, you know, expensive. But I do plan to be doing multiple clears of the Belphegor trial. Some of them will definitely be cheaper, more budget-oriented clears. For this one, though, I just wanted to use Oliveira because, you know, I've kind of, like, had, like, a love-hate relationship with the unit. I was very disappointed that he was really bad, even though I pulled for him. But, of course, after his intrinsic and, you know, some recent vision cards, he has gone from terrible to really, really good. So... We're going to use Oliveira. Um, I'll show you the gear and all in a moment. Now, this obviously is not going to be the quickest clear. Like, you can definitely do, like, a three or four turn clear with, like, you know, Esther and all that funness. And I'll probably do that eventually. But I wanted to do Oliveira first. So, we're going to use Ronda to LB for mitigation. Sylvie's going to be our provoker. We're going to be doing, on turn one... The Dark Resist buff, which is Elemental Vines for Dark Resist, Compassionate for Status Immunity, and I think we're going to do Paladin's Resolve for the Regeneration. We'll use Kaito to LB to break the boss, shift at LB. I should have done that before Runda, but oh well. Um, actually, we can use Sylvie to just refill right here. So Sylvie is going to... Um, yeah, we did Mitigations. So we're just going to go ahead and just Aura twice. Actually, let's go ahead and just Aura. Let me Aura and trust to Kaito and then Aura again. And Oliveira is going to buff and support chain a little bit. Okay, so Oliveira's primary damage is going to be his LB, obviously, which we're going to start doing in just a moment. Also, we didn't do killers and all yet either. So there's some damage on Sylvie. Not too big a deal. Alright, let's go ahead and shift Sylvie, and now we are going to, we're going to Demon Killer on, where's Demon? Let's go ahead and defense first for the party. Let's Demon Killer on Oliveira, and let's do, I've got your back for a bigger LB damage buff on Oliveira. Um, other than that, don't need much else of anything, so we're going to go ahead and use this LB, and it's a tag LB, so we don't got to worry about chaining, so this is, you know... Decent-ish. Not the greatest, as I said. This is not going to be the quickest clear, but it's going to be a pretty, you know, respectable, easy-to-copy clear for the most part. Um, anyway, Sylvie, Sylvie's here just for healing and entrusting, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and entrust Oliveira and then just double Aura to refill. Um, honestly, not much else to do with these guys. So we can just, like, you know, refill and keep mitigations going. So this team may have been... I, I was kind of worried about filling Oliveira's LB a whole lot, so I kind of built the team around like getting his LB filled all the time, and I, I'm realizing I may have gone a little overboard in the LB fill, or the LB department of Oliveira, refilling him like very often. Um, but, you know, whatever. I guess you know having too much fill is better than having not enough fill. So let's go ahead and do this again. And we will just keep, my god, the LB fill on the steam way too much. But okay, it's fine. So we're going to be doing a rotation of, we're going to be uh, doing his cooldown ability, um, Oliveira, every, uh, every fifth turn. And then other than that, just using his LB every single turn. So we're going to get imbued this turn with Earth. But for, oh, I didn't do the Demon Killer buff on Oliveira before damaging. Whoops. Okay, well, whatever. Um, whoops. Let's go to the base form with you. Let's go ahead and just refresh Vines, Resolve, and Compassion. Um, yeah, we didn't have the Demon Killer. We have, well, we had the small Demon Killer, but not the big one on Oliveira. Oh, well. Whatever. Um, and you guys can discard because, you know, whatever, like I said. Um, anyway, this turn we are getting imbued. Also, we have the damage over time at this point. But because we've got really good mitigations with Runda, we've got good LB buff, or good stat buffs with Sylvie and all that stuff, um, it's kind of fine, so it's like whatever. So Sylvie, let's go ahead and do that Demon Killer buff before I forget again. So let's go ahead and use Sylvie to Demon Killer on Oliveira, 
And uh, literally nothing else matters. So demon killer. And as you can see, we're imbued now, but you know, who cares? So we'll go ahead and do one more turn of bursting, and the next turn we gotta reapply his debuffs. Now we're in phase two, though. Phase two is painful. So the boss does not have a um, magic buff, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and have Sylvie entrust our Olivera and just Aura a few times. Um, and then Runda. Like, Runda's literally here for one purpose. He is here to just mitigate. So we're just going to use his LB to do more LB fill on the party. So here's the damage over time. We're going to be getting more damage over time in this phase. Now the boss also does some AoE damage uh, and a lot of AoE dark damage. But because we are all completely dark immune, as you see, um, we're still dark immune after the imperils. Everyone is wearing huge dark resist, which is why I said this is a hard to copy clear. Except for Sylvie. Notice Sylvie is intentionally a tiny, tiny, tiny bit under the dark resist cap. That way we can counter with her for a little bit of bonus fill. But at this point, as you can see, we lost our finale, so we're going to go ahead and do that again. Let's have Sylvie do her shifted LB for mitigations. Not mitigations, for stat buffing. Um, let's go ahead and reapply this. Now also notice the boss has this magic buff in this phase. Um, we're going to use Kaito to get rid of that. So we're going to just use Crashing Wave, which is going to, to perfect dispel the boss and get rid of those buffs. And again, I should have done that before doing damage with Oliveira. Whoopsie. Oh well. Um, let's go ahead and entrust over to Kaito and then just Aura a few more times with Sylvie. Or selfie and put up that mitigation again so so once again we do have more um more damage over time on the party at this point as you can see that you'll see the damage you take some damage there but we've got sylvie's resolve so we heal it back up so it's not that big a deal it is a little bit painful though there's the death on the provoker you know we're handling that and here's all the drains from the boss and a bunch of aoe dark damage but there goes sylvie countering it back up healing our mana back sylvie is great for this all right, so let's go ahead and use Kaito. There's the, as you can see, that perfect dispel the boss's buffs away again, which is awesome. So we'll go ahead and do this. We're basically, gonna be, we're basically gonna, we are basically going to be permanently um, imbued at this point. And before I forget, let's demon kill. I always forget that demon, and we don't really need anything else. We can go ahead and offense and defense, just like for whatever. Actually, offense really did nothing at all. Neither the defense. Now that I think about it, but oh well, whatever. Anyway, more damage, and you know, we're not going to do like a super quick clear, but we're definitely going to get a 15 turn clear in with Oliveira, so we'll just keep his LB going, we're going to LB a bunch of times, um, and again, Ronda can just keep that LB fill going, that's all we're here for. So some damage over time, we might have lost our regeneration buff at this point, we did, unfortunately. Um, I think we're going to be okay. Uh, yeah, the damage over time is extremely, extremely painful, as you can see. Um, even, even with the really well-geared party, Oliveira took like... I mean, he's got a very low, low max HP, which is why it looks really bad. But anyway, let's go ahead and top the party off just for some extra bonus healing. So we're going to use Lakshmi there. Um, we, lost, we lost the heal over time from, from whatever this girl's name is, Sylvie. So let's go ahead and do some buffs with Sylvie. Uh, we can go ahead and... Does the boss have his magic buff? He does not, so we can ignore that. Um... How are the breaks on the boss? Three turns. That's fine. Um, all right, there we go. So we're going to win pretty soon. Let's go ahead and entrust again. And double R with Selfie. Selfie's so awesome. Um, we can just guard Kaito. Literally don't need anything at all. Yeah, so the magic buff on the boss, when he goes up, you kind of want to dispel it if you can. Um, if, you, if, you can't, if you can't afford to dispel it, it's not that big a deal. Here's a bunch of dark damage. Again, this is why you really want to be immune to the dark if possible. Uh, he does have the dark buff. So we're going to go to the base form with Kaito and use his base form LB. Because that's a perfect dispel. So there we go. Dark buff gone. Um, now we can also do Rivera. But I think we need the demon killer buff again. So let's go ahead and shift and do the demon killer. Yeah, demon killer on Rivera. Um, other than that, we can just heal some MP and stuff. Wait for this to finish. All right, deal some damage with Oliveira. Uh, this is turn nine, so next turn will be... Okay, there we go, perfect. So we're probably gonna win next turn, it looks like. Let's go ahead and trust, and then just Aura a few times. 
and Runda can use as mitigation. So Runda's mitigation is why we're not really having problems with the damage over time. It's 85% general mitigation, permanent uptime. So there's the dot, and peel back up. Now the reason the dot is not dealing a ton of damage is because we are removing the boss's magic buff. If you don't remove the boss's magic buff, that damage over time can be a lot more dangerous. Um, let's see, so magic buff. Uh, the boss's breaks are going to be wearing off in a moment, but we're going to go ahead and perfect the spell of the boss anyway. If we don't kill the boss here, I can break him with like Runda or something uh, so we don't die. But anyway, I think we're going to win right here. So let's go ahead and LB for more of an LB buff. And we're going to use Olivera to tag chain. And there it is. 10 turn clear. We only needed, um, we only needed a... A 15 turn clear, so 10 turns out of 15, party 5 or less, no items, not not too bad, pretty fine. So here's the party that we use. I'll go ahead and get get out of the fight and we'll show you we'll show you the gear, you know, in the usual party menu. So there it is. Oliver carried the fight by himself in 10 turns as opposed to my double dark rain EX3, uh, Dark Fina Premium, etc. Six man clear on the JP server. So yes, Oliveira has surpassed Dark Rain in a dramatic way. I love it. Love it. Great, great, great. Um, okay, so there was our all mission clear on Belphegor. Relatively fine, pretty easy, as long as you have the gear to handle the immunities. Now the reason we took very minimal damage is, for one thing, um, Runda's mitigation, but also more importantly, Dark Resist. And the Dark Resist is going to be the big hang up for a lot of players that are going to have problems with this. So anyway, um, here is the party that we used. So, uh, wait a minute. Game. There it is. All right, so Sylvie is our passive provoker. So she is 315 dark resist. That way with her plus 80 buff, she's at 395. After the imperil, she's at 95. This is optional. If you can't really gear for this exactly amount, don't sweat it. But that allows her to wear Blizzard Orb, which the Provoker needs anyway. Well, a source of death immunity. Any source. Blizzard Orb is a death immunity source, though. If you don't have Blizzard Orb, you know, Genji Shield, Safety Bit, etc. Um, on your Provoker. But Blizzard Orb is also death immunity. So it gave us a source to counter so we can get some healing back in, some mana regen, etc. Other than that, passive Provoke and lots of bulk. So HP, Defense, Spirit... Uh, passive provoke, a lot of dark resist, and here is the build. Also, I gave her Philosopher Stone Seeker. This is so that she, if she ever gets mana drain to zero, um, she always has mana. Uh, as it turns out, that is completely irrelevant. As you saw, her mana never went below like 80%. So yeah, that that was that was heavy overkill. And then of course the power cut card is by far the best tank card in the game, as I've said a thousand times. Uh, shift form, identical. Literally identical. And you don't need evasion. Evasion, not important here. The boss does no physical damage whatsoever, so don't worry about evasion. Runda is, again, nothing at all except mitigation. Mitigation, mitigation, that's it. Um, I gave him his arm, that way he could uh, normal attack for mana regen, but again, we never needed it because Sylvie counterattacks mana regen. Lion Emblem for extra LB fill. If we needed it, we never did. Other than that, 320 or better dark resist because we're using an 80% buff. So you want 400% dark resist on the whole party. And no one needs death immunity except the provoker. Uh, we never provoked on Runda, so there we go. Just, you know, a spirit build. I um, mean, again, I kind of went a little overboard on the gearing, but um, this was not the budget run. Selfie is because, like I said, she's great for LB fill and entrusting. She could also heal the party. Oh, by the way, for healing, I did have Runda on Lakshmi, and I did use it one turn, but I kind of forgot that Sylvie could have, I mean, Selfie could have very easily healed the party. Um, so Selfie is Trebia's light. Um, it looks low, but it, it heals for a lot. So we could have entrusted and double casted Trebia's light. That would have topped off the party very easily. But she can entrust, she can heal, she can fill LB gauge. Um, she can do other things too, but that's all we really use her for for this clear. Selfie's great. If you don't have Selfie, just someone to keep... I'm um, not Runda. Someone to keep Olivera's LB gauge topped off so you can LB every single turn. Or if you wanted to, honestly, we could have like dropped Selfie, brought two Oliveras, and just like done their LB every other turn. 
Would have been the same thing. So bring a friend, bring a friend Oliver. It might, have, it might have been better, in fact, because some turns you could have like double filled his LB. But uh, you know, I decided to use selfie. So again, 320 or better dark resist, high HP and spirit. Um, here's the gear. Now she is a seven star. She is very squishy. So and I didn't give her a card because you don't really need to. Um, but as a squishy seven star, like you know, you need good gear to gear her this way. But it was fine. Also, if you can, some LB fill rate and LB per turn. So 600 fill rate, 800 per or 8 per turn, and there we go. Kaito in both forms geared identical. LB fill, um, you know, dark resist, and he does the breaking. Um, so 320 dark resist. So he does, uh, not this. He does a permanently uptime, 90% attack and magic break, which is why the boss was dealing relatively low damage, 88 defense and spirit break, and also he has lots of sources of perfect dispel. His crashing wave is three out of five turns of auto cast and perfect dispel, and then when that's not available, base form LB is also a perfect dispel. And that is how we always remove the boss's magic buff in phase two, which which made the damage over time a lot lower damage. If you're not removing the, the boss's um, magic buff, the damage over time can potentially be kind of painful. But there we go. And then star of the show, Olivera is using 320 or better dark resist, double-handed um, violin, uh, you know, MP build, LB damage versus demons. He is maxed on everything. And of course, the Dazzle card, which was custom made for him. Um, maxed LB damage, maxed demon killer, and 320 dark resist, and 14,482 MP. There was the clear. Uh, we've got a lot of content today. I'm going to be working on other stuff. Also, I'm still doing that Dark Visions discussion video next, actually. So um, I might not get around to doing a second, third, and fourth Belphegor clear until later this weekend. Maybe, you know, Saturday, Sunday, or even later. But I will absolutely be doing multiple Belphegor clears with various team comps. I'll be doing more, like, flashy speed clears. I'll be doing budget runs, etc. See you in a bit.